I don't do give makeup tutorials, guys. This is just me. <laughs> One day I'll be so good on Instagram. Hi Vogue, this is Frida, and I am gonna show you my fresh face red carpet look. This is very simple, but very essential. Always start with clean hands. As soon as my face is clean, next thing I do is mist it, just like that. So right after you spritz, I just put a tiny bit of oil, I rub it into my palms, and I never rub my skin, but I just dab it. And everyone has a different technique of massaging your face. I like going upwards. Gravity takes everything down, so we gotta push it up, girls. Everybody gets spots. In fact, I have one right here, and if you can see it, it's called my Indian Bindi. I would just use a very good cream concealer um, and just go into the spots and dab it with your clean fingers. Key is less is more. You want to be able to show who you really are, your inner beauty, just keep it less. For me, it's always better top to bottom. And so I start with eyebrows, and then I'll go into the lids, the mascara, and the lip. I just use a gel, I think it's like a dark brown eyebrow filler. This is why I like the mistakes. I go on with a clean spoolie, and wherever I've dabbed in way too much, I just push it up because that creates hair-like lines, you know, without having to actually paint it on. And then you take a little Q-tip, clean all the mistakes off. Well, I can never draw within the lines even as a kid, so that's not gonna happen on my face. If I'm on the red carpet, um, I'd let the makeup artist go crazy with my eyes and do a bold eye, but if I'm doing it myself, I'd like to keep it simple. All I do is use a lip balm or a something that has a very, uh, a balmy texture, so whatever you want, a lip balm, face balm, and all I do is dab a little bit. It gives this really healthy, dewy look. I have this natural discoloration on my eye, and I think it's like my natural eyeshadow, so, you know, you, you, you kind of use what you've been given, because you can make it look beautiful. Okay, so the next tip, trip, tip, trip, I'm tripping, I'm so tripping right now. <laughs> next step is mascara. And I start at the root, just so that it kind of gives the feeling of a big, full, open eye. Don't worry about getting it on your eyelid because you always have Q-tips to clean it off. If there's one thing you'll always find in my handbag, it's a matte red chubby stick. So I use a classic red as the base. I try not to even put a lip balm just because a matte stays better on when there is no lip balm on. And somehow I've noticed when you do the little mm, smush your lips together thing, you kind of get the perfect line. That's probably another thing that I always carry in my bag, Q-tips. You don't want to get a lip above your lip, you know, that's not a good look. This makeup artist, she gave me a tip. She said coral and like a really beautiful coral dabbed right in the center of your lips, up and down, can create that kind of golden-y definition. If there's one thing you take away from this tutorial, it should be that I never, never, never go to bed with my makeup on, so please always clean your face so that you let it breathe at night. So there you have it. This is my fresh face red carpet look. I promise you it takes very little time. It's fuss-free, so do try it. Bye, folks.